My name is Eric Lucas, and I, I'm the Hotline Resource Specialist for the Laboratory to Combat Human Trafficking. I'm a secondary victim to domestic violence, so I've witnessed domestic violence throughout you know, my entire childhood up until you know, in my early 20s. That's kind of where my passion for social justice kind of came into play. I want to make sure that I help individuals who don't have that voice, especially when it comes to marginalized and underserved communities. I was working um, as a volunteer for Adelante Familia, and they are a organization that focuses on Spanish-speaking women and children who are victims of domestic violence. And a lot of the victims that I worked with specifically were uh, victims of human trafficking as well. A lot of them uh, were brought over from Mexico or South America uh, via coyotes. A lot of their stories as a victim advocate for them, a lot of their stories uh, centered around how they were basically working for free because they were brought here to the States to kind of pay their debt off to their uh, coyotes who brought them over. I was a substance use counselor um, at an organization where the laboratory was a key resource. And one of my clients had mentioned that they were a victim of human trafficking, but I wasn't sure how to best provide the resources that I needed to help this specific client. And that's kind of how I stumbled upon the laboratory. And I fell in love with the mission and wanted to be involved. One of the ways that I got involved was to be a hotline advocate uh, where I would take hotline shifts and I kind of set it off there. I became a backup manager shortly after and I became a staff member at the beginning of January of 2023. So the hotline is a resource and tip provider. Uh, some of the biggest things that we do, um, a majority of the callers that we have are either victims or survivors of trafficking who need resources to kind of help find better situations that they're in, whether it is housing or financial assistance, counseling. Um, we are that kind of resource that has vetted out these organizations to kind of focus on human trafficking victims specifically. We've seen an increase of call volume over the last three years um, that has been pretty significant. So we know that the work that we're doing is helping individuals uh, to get the resources that they need to either escape from their trafficker or um, to find resources to better themselves. I wish that people had a more understanding of the complexities and the intersectionalities of human trafficking. It does happen to adults, it happens to individuals experiencing homelessness, it happens to the LGBTQ. IA community. I'm a member of that community and I know how it feels to be isolated. My biggest thing that I wish people would do is if they see something, say something, as long as it doesn't put the victim or survivor in any harm. When I talk with my friends, I show the passion that I have for the eradication of human trafficking and trying to make everybody aware of what signs to look for. So I think that that's the part that really, really excites me and you know, humbles me as well.